Points and trophies, trophy achievement hunting. Points and trophies, trophy achievement hunting. Chapter 11. The Canadian Grand Prix appeared to be the nadir of Ackerman and Jackson's relationship. With footage of the altercation going viral, thanks, Butler! Aston Martin are hoping that both drivers can start to move past it over the course of the Austrian Grand Prix and prevent this season from ending in a similar fashion to their last one. Austrian Grand Prix two weeks later. Another 750 EXP. And another step closer towards prestige level 3. So here we go. A poor start to the race finds Casper Ackerman sitting at the back of the field. With several laps remaining, the deployment of the safety car gives Ackerman the opportunity to pull back some much needed places. Austrian Grand Prix, mid-race. Karma? These mediums are going to the end. Fastest lap of the race. Whoa!
Go on, let's see if you get past him. Drivers battling up ahead, and one of them's the scumbag. He just forces his way past. I've now got myself into a points paying position. I don't think I'm going to be catching Verstappen or Hamilton. If I'm lucky I might sneak my way onto the podium. DRS on Lando! And another fastest lap. Hey! Jovi landed the double! Now I think it's safe to say I now have a deeper appreciation for Mr. Ackerman.
I say that. I, I doubt I'm going to catch Max. But now I'm sitting here on the verge of potentially being able to catch Lewis. As long as I can get him at about two seconds a lap, I mean, it's doable. is going to be touch and go. I can catch Lewis. Verstappen is pulling... Verstappen's actually pulling away from him. Yeah, Verstappen's pulling away. He's now three seconds ahead of him. Yeah, I'm not catching Hamilton. Three and a half seconds, it's just not attainable at this point. I mean, I... A couple of laps ago, I might have had a shot. more laps and I might be able to catch Lewis but not here not now Today's winners, the team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Safety car proved integral for Ackman as it helped him turn a poor start into an impressive podium finish. Can you pop by now? Why? 
What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. I'll tell you all about it when you get here. Can't you just tell me now? Thanks so much, Casper. Really appreciate it. Really? Seven hundred and fifty, putting me just two thousand away from prestige level three. So, a couple more races here. Oh, hey ho, Casper. Uh oh. What's going on? We need to clear something up. Take a seat. Clear what up? Aiden thinks it's his fault that you're retiring. I'm sorry, Casper. I do respect you. Quite a lot, in fact. And I don't want you to retire. I didn't mean the things that I said. And I want you to know that if you're retiring because of me, I'll... Look, will you tell him? This anxiety, it's no good for his performance. I'm not retiring because of you. Everyone says... I'm not retiring because of you. Can I go now? No. You're going to give him two minutes of your time. Well, Brian, what am I? His therapist. Oh, boy. Two minutes, Casper. That's all. Everyone said... Everyone's an idiot. Look, I'm not retiring because of you. I told Brian after Zandvoort. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. It's tough. I've noticed Jackson's hair's the same as mine. Can be. The press. Social media. I don't know. How do you deal with it all? in the whole world get to do what we do yeah a handful you deal with it by never forgetting how lucky you are to be here you understand hey veteran advice hey 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 Forget what? Sometimes we all do. It's okay, I've just pieced it all together. Do man's leader. As the 2021 season rolls on, the F1 grid moves to the historic Spa Francorchamps. With Casper Ackerman sustaining his recent run of form. Aston Martin hopes that both of its drivers can maintain this level of performance. I'm sorry, where the hell is Mazepid Star? Oh my lord, he missed the top 10! Cathartic? Oh yeah, absolutely cathartic. Too wide. Oh, Rouge Vanny. Oh no, that's not gonna fit! Wow! Lo and behold, we have rain on the way as well. It's Belgium, that's to be expected.
five. There they are, the usual suspects. There's one. Oh, oh, there it is. There's the rain. There's the rain. My way, Supermax. Rain is happening, rain is happening, rain is happening. This is probably one of the, one of, if not the easiest DRS straight on the calendar. Yes, 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 blah, 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 blah. Aiden is in the pits. Aiden in the pits. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, that's great timing for the pit stops. And those that haven't stayed out, well, they are idiots. Now watch the time just plummet. There goes Giovinazzi.
And there are the idiots. Yep, everyone is now an idiot except for me. I will admit I did watch the whole Breaking Point story before playing this. So I know what I need to do. Should have come in and pitted. This will be what? Ackerman's second win of the season? Yeah. Yes, it will. And everyone's thinking to themselves, boy, do I look stupid now. Talking of which, where's... Where's the most hated driver ever? He's had to make five pit stops. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Mazapin, you really suck. I would have said something else, but... Uh... No, that'd be too easy. I'm sorry. I swear I'm on lap 9. What laps are you on? He's over a lap down. <laughs> oh, he looks... He is thinking to himself, oh, I look really stupid now. Nope, you're just the worst driver on the grid. Everyone has been an idiot today. But I planned ahead. I studied footage. And now Ackerman is going to get his second win of the season. And he wins the Belgian Grand Prix. for Aston Martin. Amongst the drama ants, they've been quietly racking up some good points. Yeah, it's caught me off guard a little bit, actually. When you look at the table, you realise they're not doing as badly as you might think. Aston Martin have been nothing if not entertaining this season, for good or bad. It'll be interesting to see how they fare by the end of the year. Aston Martin's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the biggest names in the sport. They're making their way out to the podium now as we speak, and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them.
Despite the difficult conditions, Kasper Ackman continued to impress at the Belgian Grand Prix and achieved another win. Belgian Grand Prix post All I'm saying is that the team are back in the mix this season. That's how good you've done. Yeah. You're ending your career on a high just like you wanted. You really couldn't ask for much better. You want one? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. What? No, no, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. You haven't driven like this in ages. You're out there having a great time. You're raking in the points, but you're doing your moody face. I'm not doing my moody face. <laughs> like this. <laughs> okay. It's Aiden. What about him? Oh, he's doing all right. He's moping around, anxious, apologetic. I think he's struggling. I thought you were going to ignore him. Yeah, but he's just a kid. He needs support. From you? So, how many races have I got left? What's this all about, Cass? Let's say that um, I've got three or four months left in F1. What if... Go on. Nah, forget it. No, what? You laugh at me. Promise not to. It just sounds so stupid. <laughs> what does? <laughs> Soft, haven't you? I knew you'd make fun of me. You want to make the F1 world a better place before you retire. You want to help the team, help aid, and your own career be damned. And what if I did? <laughs> so Casper Ackerman does it a hard after all. I'll alert the media. Look, look, Zoe, I'm serious. What if I did? What could you do? Well, Mercedes has got a, a seat coming up next season. Some say they might even sign him. That is his dream. And you think you could help? What? And there we go. I honestly don't know. Here we go. So just trick conditions. We zoom in again. Yada yada yada. Flying Dutchman, Crofty, Gent Nichols. Chandok, emails, I want him gone, yes, NASCAR maybe for Ackman afterwards? Another 1000 XP, I'm gonna hit prestige level 3. With an impressive run of form behind him and renewed focus, Ackman and Aston Martin are hoping that they can continue to build on this performance as they head to the Russian Grand Prix in Sochi and into the final third of the 2021 calendar. Center quickly. What's the issue? The team are just finishing up going over the data from P3. They want to confirm some aspects of the tyre strategy with you. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? We won't do anything you're not comfortable with. Okay, let, let me just finish up here. We'll be waiting uh, whenever you're ready. Thanks, Brian. Track. Let's roll. Let's 
So here we go, chapter 13, hopefully not unlucky for some. With a few chapters, rem with a few laps remaining, Ackerman has found his Aston Martin outperforming many of the cars on the grid. An alternate tyre strategy appears to have put Ackerman in the perfect position to challenge for an even greater finishing position, and even at a chance at the fastest lap. Russian Grand Prix, mid-race. Who's that that's gone? That was a Red Bull and a Mercedes. What on earth? Are they both out of the race? Let's see who it actually is. Oh my lord! The two championship protagonists have taken themselves out. LOL! Oh, that is brilliant. All I need to do is finish inside the top 10 and get another couple of points with the fastest slap. Oh, Georgie boy, thank you. Just get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Now stay out of my way! Schumacher, blue flags! Thank you. There we go, fastest lap of the race. Whoop, whoop. There's Latifi, get out of my way. Thank you. Just got past Sonoda. Another purple sector. Out of my way! Oh look, I have a scumbag ahead of me, and it's not Giovanazzi. It is the most punchable face in all of Formula One. Devon Butler. Bruh. And he's got past the smooth operator. Okay, scumbag. Time to crash. There we go, I've now got the fastest lap. And behold, another purple sector!
And I will not apologise to Butler because he deserves it. He's in the pit! Lol 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 devil you suck lol 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 Oh hey look at that I've got Jackson ahead of me Also gets me on the switch back. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! He went a flying. Not gonna catch Aiden Jackson, but that's fine. I can live with that. Ah, oh, there's no way. Checo Perez wins in... Wow! Checo wins. How's about that? He's not going to do it again, is he? Oh, there's contact between the two Aston Martins. I think I just beat him. I think I just beat him. That's quite some achievement for Aston Martin's Kasper Ackerman getting the fastest lap out. Yeah, it's not often you see any team outside the top three pick up that extra point. Aston Martin went with what looked like an aggressive tyre strategy, but it paid off for them. Incredible, really. Aston Martin now very much in the mix for a strong midfield finish this season. And who knows, they might even be eyeing up fourth place. They'll be delighted. Drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team.
Aston Martin employs an, an alternative tyre strategy that pays off, allowing Casper Ackerman to seal not only a top 10 finishing position, but also the fastest lap of the race in Sochi. <laughs> Two hundred and sixty five away. Well, one more race will do the job. So here we go. Aston Martin team dinner. With another successful race weekend behind them, the team at Aston Martin hold their annual team dinner. Aston Martin team dinner the following evening. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh... Give yourselves a round of applause. You've been wonderful. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm only kidding, uh, Casper. You will be missed. Anyway... I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening and let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you especially, you've got the makings for true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey, where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Aiden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. <laughs> Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just... I don't know. Well, 
about you. He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? Uh-oh. You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. It would be funny if he wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. to it you can apologize to me later I don't understand I'm an idiot why paddock gossip so none of this is true there's always gossip in the paddock and ever since he's arrived there's been one man at the center of it all who the man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal the man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler. And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? Devon Mother Trucking Butler! You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Canada, and how much easier has he had it because of all of that? 